Hello James Bay students, it's Miss St. Denis here. Um, today I want to teach you how to create a block. So you already know what all the blocks are from all these choices here, but what you can actually do to make your life easier and make a shortcut is to create a block that has a bunch of steps to it. So each block that you create is connected to an individual sprite. So I'm going to make a block for Scratch Cat here. And I do that by clicking my blocks down at the bottom and then make a block. Down here are some choices that you'll get to know as you get more advanced. But right now for today, I'm just going to get you to try making a block called Jump for a sample. Now it says all of a sudden here in your code section, define jump. And what that means is give me instructions for what jump means. So now let's go to the regular blocks and give them some instructions. Now to get something to go up and down on your screen, you need to remember that that's the Y axis. And when Scratch Cat jumps, we want them to go up on the Y axis, for, axis first. So we're going to go change Y by 10. Then we're going to add one second of wait time. Actually, let me make that a little bit less than a second. Let's say 0.3 seconds, which is about a third of a second. And then after they jump up, we want them to jump back down. And if we say to change by 10, it's gonna go up again. So to make it go down, you need to put a minus sign in front of that. And you can find that on your keyboard beside the equal sign. All right, now let's click it and see if Scratch Cat jumps. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I want them to do. So that code, now that I've done that, has to stay there. But now when I go back to my blocks, you'll see that there's a block called jump. So now I could tell Scratch Cat that when I want the flag clicked, I'd like them to jump. 10 times. Let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going pretty fast, so I might want to even make that wait time a bit higher. Let's try this again. That's a little bit faster, a little bit, I mean, a little bit slower. So the reason I'm showing you this today is because you have a 10 block challenge, which is your next project. And what I want you to know is that you need to use 10 blocks, but some of those blocks could be blocks that you have made. And that's a way to get more code in than you otherwise would because you can make shortcuts by making your own blocks. So see what you can do with that. You don't have to make your character jump. You can make them do almost anything but you need to tell it what it means when you define a block. You need to give it all the instructions for what that block means, just like I've done here. I hope that helps, and I hope that um, you will help each other if you run into problems. See you later.